Hi, hi guys. Good day. Uh, I'm Noli Sudario. I just want to share you guys the the Revit files that I made. Uh, someone in LinkedIn messaged me and challenged me to do this kind of facade. This a this is a design proposal, unitized funnel, curtain wall, a bespoke system. The project name is Delta Mix Use Development. Uh, the location is in Jeddah, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The architect is H O K. Uh, the they're going to make they're going to use Shuku profiles for this project. Uh, if you look into this guys, this is not a typical curtain wall. It's like a diamond shape. All all over it. Uh, if let's look in the details this is the detail the plan detail uh, this is I studied this detail for almost a almost two almost two weeks and came out with this Revit files this is the Revit files that I made is the main the main elevation is in is elevation is general elevation wall type one so I make it in, I set up the Revit files so I set up the Revit files in each elevation this is the typical elevation they want me to make a uh, four and fifth floors uh, then I came up with this let's set it in 100 scale 1 is to 100 3rd, 4th, 5th and 6th that is what I made so it look like a diamond shape when we let's go to the 3D you can see this is not a typical flat curtain wall and also this is not a typical uh, Revit files because this is one is a unit one all the parts is a Revit families a unique Revit families that it that is the, uh, what I call it Revit unique Revit families because I made it this way it is planting also it have a file name this one is the leaning uh, mullion support for the glass so it will be shaped like a diamond this is the support SP08-01 support for the for the leaning leaning mullion when we look on the east and go to this section you're going to see the the 
the volume is, is slanted forward and backward mm -hmm. this one is backward the other part is forward so when you see on the when you look into the 3d it's leaning forward and backward also the only in this, the only straight mullion is the the leaning mullion that one is straight one so there's a connector here transom connector transom connector inside these transoms they put a on this part they put a span drill glass so no so no one can see the slab on this part also on this part of the curtain wall also here and the other part here so this one is vision glass span rail and this two small one is ah this part is uh, span rail but the glass is one only is one glass but it have a this one is support let's look into the detail or to a detail when we look into the auto de auto detail we're going to see that the glass on that part is one size only and the mullion is under the glass it, the, on this mullion is only a support and it have a gasket on it uh, we have only two glass the bottom and the top this is the joint collection joint cap there's a mullion uh, there's a transom on this one this is the co this is the transom connector so let's go to the Revit files. There's a transom connector as you can see there, also here. There's a transom connector. The support mullion. And to support transom, this is support transom, and all of the vertical leaning, uh, vertical slanting uh, mullion. So, I want to share this, guys. So, please share your if you have this kind of pile in Revit, please share it to me. So we can learn to each other if someone want to ask something or suggest or have a question how do I do, how do I do it just comment on this videos thank you guys uh, I hope you enjoyed this video It's really a diamond shape. Is that's the partial elevation of the curtain wall. Thank you, guys.